Hi. Welcome to the Omni Nashville Hotel. How can I help you? You need a room? Do you have a reservation? No? No, that's fine, it's fine. Can I get a name? but it's always best to just double check okay what kind of room would you be needing you have two guests two guests how many nights two nights okay let's see what we have available it looks like we have a deluxe king an executive king and a luxury suite available would you like me to run through the differences? Okay, no problem. So the Deluxe King, let's see, it's 408 square feet. You're gonna have floor to ceiling windows and that's gonna be throughout. Tea coffee maker, city view, a safe for any valuables, flat screen TVs, granite countertops, lighted vanity, and a private parking space. Yeah, so that's four hundred. Like I said, four hundred eight square feet. Mhm. Mm it's small, but it's cozy. Okay. Um, two nights in that room is gonna run about a thousand. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do you want to keep? Do you want to hear about the other ones as well? Okay. So. If you wanted to do a double queen, I don't know if you're together, but if you're not and you'd like to sleep separately, you could do a double queen for about the same price. It'd have all the same amenities, yeah. It would just be two queens instead of one king. Okay, I just wanted to throw that out there. So you don't need two beds though. Okay. So next for the executive king room, let's scroll down. Okay, so it is 510 square feet. Mm -hmm. It is, so it's a little bigger, but about a little more than 100 square feet bigger. It does have a small living area and a dining table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it also have a either a walk-in shower or a shower tub combo. Yeah, you can pick your preference. It will only change the price a little bit. Okay. So for that room, it's about fourteen twenty-eight for two nights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll have all the same amenities as before, uh, but you'll also have uh, room service for your room service. Mm hmm. And then the last room that we have available is the luxury suite. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, it's about 1,200 square feet. Yeah, that's a big one. It has tile and marble floors, full-size closets, a full kitchen and living area. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Um, you'll have a separate enclosed bedroom and bath and this one will have the walk-in shower and a tub and then you'll still have your lighted vanities his and hers his and his hers and hers whatever and um what else i think everything else is basically the same but you like i said you do have that full dining room full living room like a full-size closet it's in the bedroom which I know you're only going to be here for a couple days, but some people like to have that extra room to just hang stuff up and keep it from wrinkling and whatnot. Mm hmm Okay, yeah. So, um, that room is seventeen forty-eight for two nights. Yeah, it's a little pricey, but it's a really beautiful room. You really can't go wrong with any of the rooms, though. So, if you're planning on doing a lot of sightseeing or spending, there's no shame in making the budget room. So, what did you, 
What do you think? You want to do the executive king? Yeah, that's fine. So for two nights. I have some available on the 13th, 20th, and 27th floor. What would you prefer? 27th. Yeah, the higher the better. Better view, right? Okay, so you're gonna be on the 27th floor in room 1546. Go ahead and get you a card. Let's program it. Okay, so I'm just gonna hand this to you. I'm just gonna set it on the counter. So that's your room key. It'll get you access to your room, to the hotel itself, to any of our amenities. Any, yeah. Anything you could possibly need to do or see in the hotel, that card get you in and if you lose it for some reason you can always come back to the front desk and we can get you another one yeah we'll just need to see id okay good so i'm so happy you've decided to stay with us let's um talk a little bit about what we offer here on site okay cool so i'm sure you noticed when you came in that we are located just adjacent to the Music City Hall of Fame. I'm sorry, <laughs> the Country Music Hall of Fame in the Music City Center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two big tourist attractions. Definitely worth checking out. <laughs> oh, you plan to go? Yeah, I think anyone that comes to Nashville should see stuff like that. Right. Okay, and so also on site. We have a rooftop pool, and then a ground level outdoor pool, hot tub, jacuzzi, fitness center, five on-site restaurants. They're all amazing, so definitely check those out if you get a chance. But um, if you're going to be out and about, there's plenty of great food to find there as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we also have an on-site spa that does massages, facials, body treatments, manicures, pedicures, pretty much anything you can think of, they offer. Yeah, I can get you a brochure if you'd like. Yeah, okay. I'll just keep this set this with your card. Yeah, we'll get over. Um, you can call the spa number and book yourself. You can call back down here and we can book it for you come to the desk and tell whoever's here what you'd like to have done. It's a pretty extensive brochure, so I don't want to run you through it all now, but um, definitely take a look when you get to your room. Mm. Okay. Let's see what else should we talk about. Well, okay, so if you're gonna be out and about, um, you should well, you should know for also when you leave, we're only about 16 minutes from the airport. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can plan accordingly on exit day. Uh, we are about 1,800 feet from the train station, if you'd like to travel that way. Of course, you could always call a cab, Uber, Lyft, whatever strikes your fancy. Mm -hmm. Or, of course, you could always drive yourself. If you're not familiar with Nashville, I don't really recommend it. It can be a little clustered and there's lots of one-way streets. It's very easy to get turned around. And it's a super, really, super easy to walk city. So you can always just do that if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here at the Omni, you're less than a mile away from like 10 major attractions. So it's definitely walkable. Oh, goodness. Okay, um, well, like I said before, you can go to the Music City Hall or the Country Music Hall of Fame. Um, those are two really popular ones that 
that a lot of people go see. Uh, there's the Johnny Cash Museum. Yeah, it's so cool. I mean, if you're a fan of country music, Johnny Cash is a must-see. If not, it could still be interesting. History and whatnot. Um, you could go to the Grand Ole Opry. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of my favorite things, um, even now, but especially when I was a kid, was to go to the Parthenon. Yeah, it's a full-size replica. <laughs> it's humongous. It's so cool, though. What else? You could go to Centennial Park. You could go on a walk tour or a bus tour. They even have, like, multi-day bus tours. So you could do one part of it both days so it doesn't take up your whole day. But you still get to see a lot. You... If you're into the party scene at night, you could go down to Broadway, where all the bars are there between the 1st and 5th Avenue. Uh, yeah, there's so many. Um, they actually organize bar crawls in town all the time, so you could literally go on Facebook and search Nashville Pub Bar Crawl, and probably there's one going on this weekend. There's one going on almost every weekend, and sometimes they have cool themes. Mm hmm Yeah, they're fun. They're a lot of fun. Uh, in that same vein, they do, like, party buses and party trolleys that you, like, pedal. So you, you could go with a big group of people you know, or you can join a group of, made up of a bunch of smaller groups. And you guys pedal your trolley around town and drink and have fun. Um, I've personally never done that, but seems like people enjoy it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a sports fan, you could go to Nissan Stadium. I don't think there's a Titans game this weekend. It might be a bye week. I'm not sure. You'd have to check that out, but you could go look around. It's cool to see. And, I mean, it's natural, so there's always going to be some kind of concert going on. Yeah, there's the Ryman, the Bridgestone. Uh, there's several other smaller venues as well. Yeah, and even just uh, all the bars usually have entertainment. Yeah, there's so much to do. That's just some things I can think of. Ooh, you could do the, um, Music City Hall Walk of Fame. So it's kind of like the Hollywood one. The, the stars and stuff. It's pretty cool to see. Mm -hmm. I went there a lot, um, several times as a kid. And I always, uh, was really excited to see Patsy Cline's star. I still love her. Yeah, so there's so many things to do. And um, if you would like to get tickets to any of the museums or attractions or concerts that you know are going on, we can do that for you. So if you don't have to mess with it, you just pick up your room phone, dial zero, that'll connect you with someone at the front desk. Just tell them what you want and what time, and then they will do their best to secure you tickets to that event, and they will call you back with confirmation or call you back with any issues. Yeah, I mean, you're on vacation, so you want to spend your time sightseeing and enjoying the city and let us deal with the hassle for you. That's no problem. Okay. Any other questions about entertainment? No. Okay. So, just a few more questions before. Would you be needing a wake-up call? Okay, here. What time? And would you like that for both mornings? Okay, what, what time for the second morning? Okay. And since you are staying in one of our deluxe rooms, you are going to be comped a breakfast. What don't we have would be a shorter list, but um, you are in Nashville, so just think southern food. 
sweets, buttermilk waffles and pancakes, eggs, grits, sausage, bacon, toast, biscuits, gravy, french toast. Um, if you're trying to watch your diet, we do smoothies, oatmeal, granola, parfaits. also do crepes, french toast, honestly anything that you can think of. And um, usually our chefs are pretty nice. If you order something that's not necessarily on the menu, they'll do their best to get that to you. So, um, what, would, what do you think you would like? for you or do you know what they would like? The same. Okay, so and what about for the second morning? Yeah, the morning you're leaving. Your wake up call was a lot earlier, so I assume you're gonna be taking your flight that morning. So I would probably suggest keeping it a little lighter so you don't feel queasy and gross on the plane. Smoothies? No problem. What kind of one? Okay, for you. And green smoothie. For them. Uh, yeah, they're about 20 ounces, so they're a good size. You shouldn't be hungry. Okay, anything else? I think that's it. Get you your wake up call in the morning, and um, one of our servers will bring you your breakfast. Okay, do you have any more questions? Any concerns at all? Okay, well, if anything comes up, like I said, feel free to call the front desk and come down. I may not be the one that's here, but somebody will be here to help you, and we're all really happy to do so. Okay, well, thanks again for staying with Omni, and I hope you really enjoy your stay.